listening to the Podcast Detroit Network. Visit www.podcastdetroit.com for more information. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so you said it's a parade. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Just jump straight into Just it. Just jump straight into it. We had Keeping the Rilla up here. It's me, the oh, wizard, over here with Max Tron, the baby. And then we got the doctor on the ones and twos. The legendary. Yeah. The brain ain't here today, so um, excuse his absence. But um, the doctor, what would you say? You seen a, you? It's a parade, a parade going on right now in downtown Detroit when they trying to get rid of the devil. What's the name of the festival down here today? Name Rouge. Name Rouge is a festival down in downtown Detroit today, and it's, a, it's supposed to scare away the evil spirits in Detroit and make Detroit a more prosperous and, I guess, happier place for everyone to come down and enjoy. That's so fucking low key because I I did not know that was happening. Did you hear anything? Yeah, about I don't. It? It, I hear no. It started, I hear nothing. It started 10 years ago, I guess, when they started developing and the trade. it's been going on for a decade, so... Was it always in the same day? I mean, same, uh, you know, same time frame? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm trying to say? Is it always the same time since right before Easter? Yeah. It, what is uh, it? That makes sense, I guess. I didn't hear What did he say? Is, is it, it is it like an annual thing, or is it like just some random... No, it's, it's annual. They've been doing this every year for 10 years. Wow. What was it? First time hearing about it. you heard about this? You know what's crazy? Ellen heard about it. <laughs> Phil is in. Ellen heard about it. Phil is in. <laughs> Did any of y'all hear about this? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I have heard of it. Um, you heard about it? I, I don't know. It's kind of like that artsy hipster crowd. I'm not knocking it. Okay. okay, okay I'm not knocking okay. it. I just yeah, ain't right, heard right. of it. That's something like 10 so, years later. Okay. It's not it late. seems cool. I've been meaning to go, but, mm. you know. Okay. It's not like nothing major. They say they have a, uh, it's almost like a, a carnival or like a uh, um, Mardi Gras style festival type deal. Okay, so like in one little section of it, uh, of the city. It's not like a whole like uh, Thanksgiving Day parade. Was it the thing. whole weekend? No, it's pretty crazy because they said it goes all the way downtown, all the way through downtown. So it's oh, pretty, snap. it's spread out. Pretty. Is it? Pretty, was it the uh, whole weekend or was it just today? Well, I just come down here, and it's today that I know of. What's okay. up, guy? You right? That's wild. That's I actually wild. have no cash on me. I'm so sorry. I might have to um, no, go down there after this. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like I had to check out what's going on. Go I don't got no money. I would have took some money off. I would know something was popping off. Like, who seen us? That's what we came to oh, the table I with. Today I we just left t- it. Today we want to talk about, I wanted to talk about that. We jumped into that, because that was crazy. That was Detroit something. But today I wanted to talk about us, Miss Marvel, to the true fans, but Captain Marvel. I happened to catch a movie called Climax. I want to know if y'all seen that. No. And um, also we got our conspiracy theory of the week, and I have a, I have a um something I want to add called the fan fiction of the week. Where I'm about to uh, recast something. I feel like we should start with the conspiracy. No, we you want to start with the conspiracy? <laughs> I feel like we start with this. you know keep it spicy. So did all of us beat us? Um, I didn't see. It. I think I'm seeing it tomorrow. Okay, he seen it. I okay. seen it. You seen it, Ellen? Ellen no. ain't seen it. So, is it on Ellen's radar? Is she planning on seeing it, or is it just like, nah, I'm good. We'll pass on that one. I want to see it, but I know I'll be scared. So. <laughs> she, she, she's gonna be scared. No, I'm, I can't even say you won't be scared. I don't, <laughs> right. know. I don't know what she's afraid of. She right. may be over here like, I was, I was scared of scissors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the know. way they slice through the tissue, it just oh. looks, you know. Yeah, I but, just uh, saw the commercial where the kids are like crawling and they got the mask. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was a real part. You know, the, and be, the crazy part about it, there's like some sleeper moments in that movie. It almost looked like a black film, but there's a lot of white deaths in that movie. A lot of dead white, white people. You say white, crazy? <laughs> you say white deaths? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was more. It was. It was more than a black death. So it was a lot of. Yeah. It was talking. Well. It was talking like what? that's pretty twenty nineteen of it. You know, no. equality, both. And I swear, one of the women in the movie only identified as a woman. I'm just gonna say that much. Okay. I'm gonna say that. Much. We can't. We can't spoil it though. Let's keep. I'm not gonna spoil. It. I was going to. I didn't know. I didn't know. Meg tried to see. It. I didn't. No. Ellen said she she may not see it soon enough because it looks scary. She's well, one of, uh, she's Metron, he types. shouldn't be going to go see that movie. He actually has to go catch up on some of his Black History movies 
Until he does that, he shouldn't see nothing current. I got those on uh, standby. What you? You need to do that like like yesterday. Like it's not cool that you haven't seen Roots. I seen you haven't Roots. seen. I seen Roots. Uh, you seen Roots? Did the stop line. Did I you seen see Roots in eighth grade. <laughs> they made me watch it in school. I thought he seen the Roots with Ti. I thought he was gonna say the one with Ti he saw. I ain't know they have one with T.I. <laughs> you didn't hear it? That was a big deal. You didn't hear about the one with T.I. that was made like two years ago? Uh, they had a lot of people in there, but T.I. was I one can't of hear you. No, um, I seen Roots in eighth grade for like a, um, it was like uh, like a four-day movie th- That's project because uh, it's so long. Yes, it is. And then it was That's like substitute hard. teacher type thing. That's horrible. And we had to take notes. That. That's horrible. Yeah. Okay. Who seen Ms. Marvel? Captain I Marvel. saw it. I saw it. I don't even watch. I, you you know, don't watch that. Yeah, I, I didn't even... I watch, I watch you, real things, you feel me? Look, I still got to see ooh, movies from ooh. last summer. I'm, I got to <laughs> catch up. I haven't even seen uh, Infinity Wars yet. So I don't, oh. I, 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 they're know, all on my list. I was, uh. I was so disappointed with Miss Marvel because I didn't know a lot about uh, Rambo, the chick Rambo, but she took, Miss Marvel took her storyline. Yeah. Like her whole origin story. Yeah, they, they did that really flagrantly with this. Um, that's why I don't watch some type of movies. Yeah, you're always changing something that don't need to be changed. They, that's what they do with movies all the time, though. That's what movies. They say movie world is not supposed to connect with you was used to as far as cartoon or book world or why? comic book world. I don't know. That's I feel like that's what it should be based off of. Yeah, but they, they change it up so much. Like that, you seen the um, commercials? Of, anybody seen the commercials of Phoenix lately? Yeah, yeah, I did. I that that was awesome. I can't see how that movie can fail. But the yeah. horrible part is those characters won't be moving forward with the uh, Fox I heard, deal. I heard. I like series better because I feel like in movies you don't get enough detail. You do. You don't get nearly enough. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, I, I will agree. You don't get enough uh, depth. Unless it's, a, enough, unless it's a five-hour <laughs> movie, which nobody wants to sit there and watch. You don't get enough detail. For an hour Sometimes it'd be worth the effort. I'm nah. trying to tell you, it's, it's a series. Like with, uh, it's a series of us, movies out here. I feel here like called, there should be more. Well, that it, it would make it better if it was more us. It would, yeah, totally. Then I'd be like, yeah, the first one set the tone. But I feel like so it, far, if it was a series, it'd be it'd be going. I'm crazy. saying it's some series that's series movie series. I'm saying, yeah, okay, I see that. that. You said six hours of movie that is worth the effort. I don't know if you hit to a a, sl- a, a sling of movies called Doom with D U N E. See, and that was about twelve movies later, but the story was all interesting. Fast and Furious Eight type thing. It was it was deeper than Fast and Furious. Cause Fast and Furious is pretty much the same. It's like Die Hard. It's pretty much the same thing every movie. Just pretty much, just different new cars. It is kind of weird. How can how many times can you go on a, a, a driving adventure with a bunch of guys that you? It's weird. Like. I mean, yeah. it's good, but it's just weird. There's yeah, nothing it's, to it. It's, You're going to get the same movie every time you watch it. Same movie, and the different last cars. Movie, the last movie was straight up like Power Rangers. It was like they showed up and they knew shiny <laughs> Oh, my cars, God. Did you see they just the post up. Girl going my, like, like she was the Pink Ranger. I agree my car, my car has missiles. My car has arrows. My car can shoot lasers. Look at me. Ha, ha. I wanted the Lamborghini that blows up. Uh, kitty litter off the back. The only thing they didn't do is connect and make a, a Megazord. I was waiting. I swear. I was I was like waiting. I was in the movie life. They connect these cars and make the most ultimate <laughs> Porsche, El Dorado, Ultra Camaro. Porsche. You seen you and something and somebody better come in flying. I mean, they got to have a side character so come in flying. Still watching something. Fast and Furious after the second one. I assume. Oh, so he gonna go there? So he stopped after the second. I stopped after the first. <laughs> <laughs> they came I mean, out with the two. Movies. I love it. They're I never like. You just want to go watch some I stupid love, ass like. I action never like sequels to anything. The only sequel, the best sequel of all time, was Scary Movie Two. That's the only sequel. <laughs> <laughs> what? Scary Movie Two. That's the only sequel of anything that's relevant. Any sequel to any movie is just like. A money scheme. It's not even for the the, the story. I'm, no uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can say that. What about remakes? How you feel about remakes? I feel like Depends. remakes is worse. Depends. I feel like remakes. I, I, think so. I thought it was gonna be bad, and it turned it out. I see. I actually awesome. It depends. It depends like how old the movie is. Like when no. they remade the first the, the first Hawk, that was that was like due for a that remake. was their remake. What do you mean? No, that was a reboot. Yeah, because that was horrible. Like Hawk don't thing. grow. No, a remake is when they actually take the same story. Like, say if they remake, well, they remade right, a Toy right. Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they still use the Tom Hanks well, voice, they like, use Zach Efron's voice, and he's starting from scratch. I feel like the story was 1920-ish, so they had to reboot it. They couldn't remake that same story to be born. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, I mean, it'd be simple. It'd be too simple for the new CGI. I and seen the, we got I, now. I have seen a good remake before. I prefer reimaginings. I like those better. What's different? A reimagining is when you do like the gender and the race swaps and stuff. When you see it in a different perspective. Well, uh, here's right. a good. Here's a good one. You know, when you look at uh, X Men, mm-hmm. and then the uh, uh, X Men uh, First Class and all that, mm-hmm. those two different franchises. The remakes were better. I hate X-Men. I just, I just, I just started realizing that when I, I seen X-Men. the previews to the Phoenix, I was like, dang, it seemed like only reason you could love the first one because they set the, the tone, but the new ones are kind of better than the, <laughs> than the old ones. Because I didn't like the old ones at all. It was like so much going wrong with the old ones. The time frame is was getting me with X-Men. They're always switching the time frames and then going back and then coming forward. And they they did back. that once. They and, do it and, too and, much. They you out. They do it too much. It was much. once too Every many. Every time. They're not, now they're babies. Now it's an apocalypse and everything is dead. Then they kids now. See, he low-key been watching because he going right to the storyline. You, you, you picked oh, that I watched up? those. I watched those. He picked up on that I watched X-Men. Doctor. That's how I, I can't, yeah, I can't yeah, hear something yeah, yeah. I didn't watch. But that's cool, though. That's cool, though. You know, Did anybody watch Umbrella Academy? I watched that. that first episode. What about you, Ellen? You watched it? Man, that was it. awesome from beginning. Was, we trying was, to get Ellen to come out of her shell. She over here like, I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> Umbrella Academy uh, was, uh, was great. It was great. I saw the first episode. Um, is it worth the effort to watch the rest of them? It is, yeah, but it's not. If far. you're looking for something like, like superhero-ish, it's not really that. It don't fight that much. No, I ain't. they fight each other more it's than anything. Got a, it's got a strong storyline. Yeah, and it's a the strong storyline. I think it's number, it's number four or number five, whatever he is, number young five. boy. Yeah, his story, his story is so epic. Like it for is. real, this guy is so much a it's god. A young boy, like, I thought they were the same age. Time. They are the can, same age. He had time travel. Do whatever he wants. He got to stuck do. at a certain age. Oh, oh my god. Right. That's I've been watching Doom Patrol. That's the, that's what I've been on. But I'm mad. Doom Patrol this... is good. I can't say I thought it was gonna be garbage, but it's gonna be really good out the gate. When I happened to read the when somebody told me about Doom Patrol a couple of years back and I happened to read the Wikipedia page on them, I was like, damn, why ain't that shit been done before? Like sooner. Never so heard about came, them. Never, never heard about them, yeah. Didn't but no, I I, like, I, I done done met some Patrol? hardcore Doom Patrol, their D C thing. And just like um we could say the Hellions or it was something, a lot of people know X Factor, but they don't know the difference between X Factor and X Force. When you, it's a Marvel thing, so it's like a DC thing. I know I done met some hardcore Doom Patrol, been waiting for this series to come out. And do you realize how it's connected to everybody? It's too many superheroes out here, man. Well, the funny thing is, uh, Cyborg and Beast Boy story originated from the Doom Patrol. How cool was that? Like, well, no, even in the comics, no, did. no. Uh, they that was part of like that new Fifty Two thing for because Beast Boy I read up on back when the show came out. He was like sick. And his parents lived in Africa or whatnot. I mean, they always went to Africa, I guess, on an expedition. And he got sick, and they was using this blood, I believe, from that green monkey. It was supposed to cure him, and it ended up giving him the power to change to different animals. But he was sick with something like a blood disease over there when he was in Africa. Then it, now they changed into, how's it going now? The, uh, Alaska he girl. Got his powers, he got his powers from uh, crystal. began, Miss Martian. Yeah, Miss Martian yeah, did something. Yeah, and then I think that last the girl was her. It's his guy, Mama and I, and, and the Mama knew her real cool. And it's, it's a good take on it, but it's different. It's different. Just like I, I, uh, I didn't know, but I had to read the Aquaman. The first one I first came out, he didn't. He was like a mixed boy who had powers. He was the king off rip. Y'all seen that new series on the Hub? It's a series. They got series on the Hub now. Yeah. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not uh, put the name out on the hub. Just yeah. search uh, on the hub, search series, new series. It'll pop up. Okay. It's not a compilation. It's a series. It's an actual series. Yeah. It, it connects a storyline. Storylines and all. People have been doing it. On, on the hub. What's the hub? Pornhub. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go ahead and check that out. No. No, I have heard quite a couple people say that before. <laughs> check, that, check that one out. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Is, it, is there a lunch you need it? Uh, Jergens only. Okay. Jergens? Okay. I think, I think right, they sponsor. they sponsored. I think they sponsored by Jergens, actually. Are you a sock guy or a paper towel? Paper towel. <laughs> I'm a sock. I, I like washing it and reusing it. That's, uh, I'm not. I'm not a wasteful person. I might put that sock on, so I might. That might be devastating for me. <laughs> I think I might never forgive myself. Never. You can't never. forgive I can't. yourself. I can't. It's too deep. Every time point. I look in the mirror, I'm giving myself a dirty look. 
Yeah, you did. Yeah, you, 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 you did. And then wore that shirt later on that day. Exactly. And then have like the, uh, that one little the finger lump. mark. Uh. <laughs>